Hey, what's going on everybody? Rob here with The Curated Culture and today I am doing a hopefully brief video. Um, I have been trying to increase my YouTube output. I want to amplify the amount of videos that I'm putting out. Um, the goal is to aim for like two to three videos a week. Uh, with having a regular nine to five, I know that that's going to be a little bit difficult, especially considering sometimes I work a little later into the evening. So it's not necessarily a motivation thing more than it is a uh, precious daylight thing because I rely on a lot of natural lighting for my videos, kind of like this. The lighting is perfect right now, or at least I think. So long story short, I had a friend of mine that told me about this lighting ring that I need to check out. And uh, I did. I found it on Amazon. It was a little over a hundred bucks, but I got this one in particular because I guess it has everything that I need uh, in order to make really good, well-lit, high-quality YouTube videos. So the name, all right, it's a little big, but... The name is uh, Newer, nope, Newer, nope, Newer, nope. I'm not sure, but somebody correct me in the comments down below. It's a full-fledged lighting ring. Uh, it's supposed to have two different lighting tubes in there, one for uh, more brown skin people, and then one is just pure LED lighting. There's supposed to be like a hot shoe adapter for both DSLR and uh, DSLR cameras and smartphones. So what do you think? Should tear into it and check it out? I think so. I think so. All right. So we got the box here. Um, hopefully this is gonna be very simple to set up, very simple to use, because if not, uh, this is gonna be a very long video. I am not the most mechanically inclined person. All right, so we're just kind of taking things out. This is the actual ring light itself. So we got a couple more things in here. Yeah. All right. So there are three boxes in total in the in the actual main box itself. This guy feels pretty heavy, so I'm going to assume this is like the tripod stand and all that. Exact the mundo. And this guy, this actually feels pretty heavy duty too. It doesn't feel all cheapy like some of the other things that you'll run into. So there's a tripod, tri, three, triple legged stand. And it uh, looks like fairly simple to unlatch. Yep, there's a little screw that tightens and loosens. And then the stand, that's actually pretty sweet. I like the, I love this actually. I love how it pivots from a shorter stand uh, to a taller stand. Like that's really awesome. I like that, it's very simple, very ingenious, and uh, takes you from like a shorter, um, tabletop sort of stand to a much taller, I guess, tripod, traditional tripod sort of stand. And it's done just with this simple little latch here. And I'm assuming you get even more height here. Yep. Wow. This thing is going to be massive, <laughs> which is good because a lot of times I run into that issue, like not having something tall enough for the videos themselves. And that's a little attachment there. So that's cool. Get this stuff out of the way. So the next box is... All right. So we got a couple power sources. We got the instructions, of course. How to assemble. I'm assuming these are the actual attachments to take the light from just that regular white LED light into a more bronze, more brownish color. I actually have, believe it or not, I have one of these adapters already laying around. So good to know that I'll have an extra if need be. The power source for the actual uh, LED light itself, which I'm pretty sure we'll be checking out pretty soon here. This is the uh, hot shoe adapter that I referenced earlier. Hot shoe adapter is good just because this is what allows you to be able to throw your DSLR camera on there 
And then with this specific mount in particular, you can throw your cell phone on there as well. Make it really easy, simple, and straightforward. Also comes with a handy dandy little remote here. Third and final box is what contains the star of the show, which is the actual LED light. And the phrasing that I was looking for earlier in regards to describing these guys is a light filter. So it changes the color of the light from, again, that bright white LED light uh, up to a nice soft uh, sepia color, if you will. There we go. Assembly for most should be a breeze. It didn't take me very long to get this hooked up at all. And now comes the final part, which is uh, getting this bad double put together here. All right, so for the most part, we have the whole LED light ring assembled now. Um, it's mounted to the tripod. All I have to do now is grab my DSLR camera, make sure that that's weighted and balanced on there, and then plug it in and then we'll give it a shot and test it out. So I got my DSLR camera here. I got the hot shoe adapter already in place. Uh, it looks like it's just as simple as sliding your camera onto the bracket, which it is, thank goodness. Uh, so camera sits in there, nice, perfect, centered. Um, I feel like my camera is a little cockeyed, but those are things that can be adjusted. Um, I got the power source already plugged in. I just need to actually I just need to actually plug the LED light in there. And now the power switch, one thing that I noticed about that is that it is actually a dimmer. So you can start off with as soft or as intense lighting as you want. And uh, let's fire this bad double up real quick and see how that actually looks. Looks pretty cool. And that's the highest that it goes. This is off soft and then we just kind of intensify it as it goes up i think it looks pretty good i think it'll be perfect for wow it's really bright i think it'll be perfect for uh, those occasions where i'm shooting videos in a room that isn't as well lit naturally as my living room uh bedroom and office things like that it's kind of the perfect fit like it makes perfect sense to have one of these and I'm excited to be able to uh, test it out in some future videos. So I'm actually leaving the uh, LED light ring on as I'm recording to close for this video just to try and test it out a little bit, but then I realized that I'm still in a very well lit room, so you probably can't tell a huge difference. Um, I am excited to be able to test this out in, uh, again, my bedroom, basement, office, uh, places that are not very well lit. I'm excited to be able to see how much of an impact this makes on the at least the lighting quality of my videos. That was it. That was my brief unboxing slash assembly slash uh, hands-on of the, I still don't know the name, Newer nope. or Newer nope. LED light ring. If you know the name of it, drop a comment down below. I'm also linking to the uh, Amazon link for this light ring in the description below. So if you decide that you wanna pick one up for yourself, have at it. Also, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button, man. Let me know that you like this video. And also, while you're at it, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you turn on your notifications every single time that I upload. YouTube will let you know so you don't miss a video. Thank you guys so very much for checking this out. I'm Rob, aka at Robbie Diesel on the tweets, on the Instagrams, on the Snapchat. Check out my website, The Curated Culture, thecuratedculture.com, or you can follow us on social media as well at The Curated Culture on Facebook and Instagram, at underscore Curated Culture on Twitter. That's it for this one. I will catch you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.